Good morning students. Welcome to Narayana Life Classes. I Anjanelu going to discuss the key of revision assignment. In that the first one is prove that if two lines intersect each other then the vertically opposite angles are equal. So we know line AB and CD intersect each other at point O. I have to prove AOC is equal to BOD and AOD is equal to BOC. These two vertically opposite pairs are equal. We have to prove it. I know OA stands on line CD. Therefore, I can say AOC plus AOD is equal to 180 degree linear pair angles. Linear pair angles. Same way, we will say OD, Ray OD stands on line AB. Therefore, I can say AOD plus angle BOD is equal to 180 degree. Reason is same. Linear pair angles. So, your RHS is equal. So, LHS will be equal. So, AOC plus AOD is equal to AOD plus BOD. Now, AOD OD get cancels. What we get is AOC is equal to angle BOD. That is my first part. Now for the second part also, I will say Ray OD or I will say Ray OB stands on line AB, CD. OB stands on CD. Therefore, I can say BOD plus BOC is equal to 180 degree. Again, we will say linear pair angles. Now I say Ray OD stands on line AB. So again, it will form angles in linear pair. So I will say angle BOD plus angle AOD is equal to 180 degree. I will say linear pair angles. So your RHS is equal 180, 180. So your LHS should be equal. So that is BOD plus BOC is equal to BOD plus AOD. Now BOD, BOD get cancelled. What remains is BOC is equal to AOD. Hence we prove this. Now coming to the second question, they had given us prove that if transversal intersect two parallel lines, so these are two parallel lines, intersect each other, then each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. So each pair of interior alternate angles are equal. This I have to prove it. So I will always write whenever proof is here, I will write the given part that is PQ is parallel to RS and uh, they are intersecting and there is a transversal. AB which is intersecting PQ and RS at point L and M and I have to prove that PLM is equal to R is equal to SML and LMR LMR this angle is equal to this angle that is MLQ. I start with the proof and the proof is The proof given to us is, I know that these are two alternate angles, that is I would say that is P L M, this angle is equal to R M B, is equal to R M B, because they are corresponding angles, they are corresponding angles, position is same, see, and corresponding angles are equal, let me call this as equation 1. So I say this angle is congruent to this angle. But this angle and this angle are vertically opposite angle. That is angle I can say SML SML is equal to RMB. This is I will say two vertically opposite angles. So your RHS is equal. So your LHS will be equal. What is my LHS? That is PLM is equal to angle SML. So I get this two. So that is my first pair. Similarly, I will prove, I will take the same way. 
first the corresponding angles that is lms or i can say angle lmr this angle i have to prove this correct this is equal to pla we'll say corresponding angles we'll say corresponding angles and pla is also equal to this angle why because they are vertically opposite angle so i will say that mlq mlq is equal to pla you will say this is vertically opposite angle so what do i got this angle is congruent to this but this i know is already equal to this so these two angles are equal that is your rhs is equal so lhs will be equal that is lmr will be equal to mlq and that is my required second proof coming to the next proof they had given us prove that if a transversal intersect two lines each other a pair of alternate interior angles are equal a pair of interior alternate angles are equal then the two lines are parallel we are we have to prove this so in the given part it will come that there is a transversal ab intersecting line pq at rs at point l and m such that plm plm is equal to sml and i have to prove pq is parallel to rs so i start with the proof given i'll write the given part plm is equal to sml let me call this is and this is given part this is equation 1 now i know sml is equal to sml is equal to rmb so rmb is equal to sml this is equation 2 why because they are vertically opposite angles and vertically opposite angles are equal so your rhs is same so your lhs also will be same what is my lhs plm is equal to rmb let me see where they are rmb is this angle and plm is this angle but they are the pair of corresponding angles but these are are corresponding angles these are nothing but corresponding angles corresponding angles and we know that a transversal transversal intersect a uh, two parallel lines transversal intersect two parallel lines then if a pair of corresponding angles are equal then we say that lines are parallel therefore i can say here pq is parallel to rs and that is my required proof coming to the next question then given prove that if a transversal intersect two parallel lines i consider the parallel lines as ab and cd and eh ef is the transversal intersecting at point g and h respectively now what i have to prove i have to prove pair of interior angles are supplementary on the same side so 1 plus 4 is equal to 180 degree 2 plus 3 is equal to 180 degree this i have to prove so i start with i say angle 2 plus i will find angle 2 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree i call this as equation 1 we know it is linear pair angles but we know angle 5 is equal to angle 3 so angle 5 is equal to angle 3 i call this as equation 2 so we say because it is corresponding angles corresponding angles on the same side of the transversal with the same positions are equal are equal so in place of 5 i substitute 3 so what we get angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree you will say from 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 so we got this now for the se second part we got 2 plus 3 is equal to 180 degree now we can get 1 and 4 so again what i do i'll take angle 1 plus angle 2 
is equal to 180 degree angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree i'll say linear pair angles let me call this as third equation but i know 1 and that is 1 and 3 or i will say 2 and 4 are alternate angles but angle 2 is equal to angle 4 both are equal i will give this as equation 4 why because angles in alternate uh, uh, alternate interior angles alternate interior angles so in place of 2 i substitute 4 so i get 1 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 that is my required proof that is angle 1 plus 4 is equal to 180 degree and angle 2 plus 3 is equal to 180 degree coming to the last proof prove that the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree if i add these three angles that is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree 1 2 and 3 then it is equal to 180 they have to we have to prove it so for that we do the construction we draw a line through a parallel to bc parallel to bc we are through a we are drawing so i start with the proof we know bc is parallel to line m i consider this is line m and ab and ac as transversals we can say angle 1 plus angle 1 is equal to angle 4 alternate angles alternate interior angles and this angle 2 is equal to angle 5 again the same reason that is interior alternate angles so i say angle 1 is equal to angle 4 one equation you will say alternate interior angles alternate interior angles same way i'll go for angle 2 is equal to angle 5 i'll give the reason for the same is alternate interior angles now what i do i add 1 and 2 add 1 and 2 so what do we get angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 4 plus angle 5 let me call this as 3 left hand side is added to left hand side rhs is added to rhs now what i do i add angle c on both the side of equation 3 so adding angle 3 on both side of equation 3 I am adding your left hand side is what angle 1 plus angle 2 I add 3 to it so angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to then here also I am adding that is angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 so to this 4 and 5 I am adding angle 3 so I added angle 3 on both sides but I know angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 this three angles together comes to 180 degree because they are linear group of angles linear group of angles so i substitute 180 in place of this so we get angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree and that is my required proof i hope all the proofs are clear to you now Thank you. See you next time.